We are off and heading to Orion, guys. I am not driving, don't worry. We are being safe here. Just picked up my Starbucks. Now I have to go get Randy his energy drink and then we have about I think it took us like an well it took us longer last time but it's like an hour it's supposed to be an hour 20 drive to get there I'll have Randy do an outfit of the day later not super stoked about what I'm wearing but it is what it is I went into my closet this morning and I hated everything and that's a pretty typical Britney moment for me so I'll see you guys there. I'll do another venue tour, but it's not gonna be as long this time because I feel like it's gonna be a lot of the same vendors, but it, I guess that could be different. We'll see. Bye. seemingly perfect harmony until one day a young man catches fire this is phoenix
from the show. I don't know what it is. On my display though, something is absolutely tearing up my fingers. I thought it was my camera last time, but it's clearly not because I have one, two, three, four, five, six new sliced finger areas. My thumb has four slices in it. My, like every finger almost has sliced. My hands hurt so bad. So I don't know what is absolutely destroying them, but I need to figure it out because it's painful. And now I have to wait, like usually it takes a couple days to heal a slice, but still it's annoying. Um, we picked up Penn Station, so I'm excited to eat that but I have to shower first. We got everything unloaded from the truck, but I'm not gonna, I never <laughs> unload it, unload it, unpack it uh, the night of the show. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow and tell you guys all the stats and everything and just give you the rundown of how this one went. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in one second or time. <laughs> Welcome back. It's been two seconds for you and four days for me. I've been just relaxing. I'm an introvert. I feel like you guys might know this about me. And so after shows, I typically am just like drained emotionally and physically and don't want to do anything. So the Chunky Bee has been on my mind, but not on my hands. So we're here though. We have the stats. I had so much fun again. I think Randy is, my husband by the way, is starting to, I think he kinda likes going just to the brewery. I don't think another festival would be the same, um, but I think he likes the brewery markets because I told him I have another one next month, which is probably when you're seeing this, this month, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, and he did not throw a fit when I said um, we have to go. So that's wonderful. I believe the next one after that is in April, but I can't go to that because I have a market in Troy to do, a three-day market, which I'll get into upcoming markets later, but I have packed myself into a lot of markets in a short amount of time, and I need to figure out how to do the stock. I need to start working on like prepping it already for April stuff. Um, but that's not what this part is about. This is the show and how we did. So I will give you the breakdowns of everything. Let me pull up my Square app. Love having the inventory in it. I had a lot of cash stuff though. So I had a, I just did my inventory. So I updated my online. So I know what sold and what didn't um, cash wise because we were getting a lot of sales back to back where I wasn't like able to keep track of everything that I wasn't using in Square. Okay, so for what we sold, this is just gonna be card wise, what we sold. I'm sorry, I don't have, I don't have the stats on the cash ones. So for card, we sold two embroidered green frog sweatshirts. I know for sure I sold three of them and one was cash. Um, we sold two distracted coping skill sweatshirts, my ADHD one. We sold one embroidered heart sweatshirt. We sold five Misfit sweatshirts. Um, so I made just off Misfits alone $100, which was awesome because those are things that um, I wouldn't sell to anyone regular price. And I don't have a, I only have Misfits of my Stanley Tumblr pouches online and I don't have my like clothing misfits. Someday I might, I just don't usually have enough of them to want to put a listing up. Um, and in person, I like how people can actually see exactly what's wrong with it. Um, so they all sold all of them, but one misfit sold, which is really good. People love sales. Let me tell you. Um, I sold one embroidered cold, uh, tan, sweatshirt so it says cold on it but it's in the color tan i only have one left and i think i told you guys i'm not making any more so i have one xl of that left if that's one of them that you were interested in um i think it should sell next market i want to say if it doesn't sell by april i probably just put it in a misfit for one of my um in-person sales as like it's not a misfit but it's just a sale item um i have one embroidered cold no, I already said that. One embroidered, it's okay. So I sold my last one of that. It just was a white, a really like soft white um, crew neck that said it's okay to not be okay embroidered on it. I want to say I might make some more of those because every time I I make them, and they're easy and like fast reading me to make, it's my lowest price embroidered item. I think I had it at $30. Um, 
just because it was a one color embroidery and I don't have to like do much with it. It's still a lot of work with embroidery, but it's not the same as like switching out colors. Um, and I think because people love embroidery, but it does tend to get expensive. I think my most, I think $40 and 40 to 45 is my most expensive embroidery. Um, so I might do a couple of those. I don't know though, because like the stock that I have, I don't have enough to, I don't think so. I don't know. I'll figure that out. I'm going to start trying to just sell off everything I have sweatshirt wise because we're getting into t-shirt season here in the next like two months. I sold my last motherhood university embroidered sweatshirt so I'm not going to bring that one back that is sold out now um, which again is good because we're getting rid, rid of stock and like I'm creating my core collection of what I want to keep throughout the year versus like my one-offs. Like I may make a few just for markets here and there, but it's not gonna be like an online one. Unless I come up with a color design that I absolutely love and it does sell. Um, but that was my first sale ever. So I, it will have a special like place in my heart. Um, I sold one Saddish, my first actually, my depression coping skills, which says Saddish on it, I sold one of those. And I sold one Mom Reject sweater, which I only have one of those left, and that's not one that, like, I designed myself. I had, I think I was ordering, I forget, I think it came from Col Cotswold, yeah, I did. I think it came from Cotswold, and I had to order a certain amount to get free shipping, so I got some of her cup wraps, um... And I added two of those in to get free shipping. So I have one left. I will not be making more of those. I sold two of my Night Court bookmarks. And I, for some reason, didn't make more. I should have made more. Because I sold them within the first hour. And then I was just out of stock of them. Which sucks because my display is the <laughs> Court of Throne like, book series. Um, so I don't, next time I will know better. Um, I sold... Three pairs of my little umbrella earrings, which are adorable, and I don't have those listed because I'm not like, I'm dabbling in jewelry, but I'm not doing jewelry. So these sold. I had another color in it too. Someday I may put up some jewelry, but like earrings. I have Stanley Charms and bookmarks. Those are the only beaded items I have right now. I would love to start doing these little phone things. I just, I haven't. <laughs> Um, and there's like a many more things that I want to do with jewelry. I want to do some of those like my friend uh, Danny, which can we just like text your friends? You know, she's always been one that like is so good about texting me and I'm not good about texting anyone. Um, and but she had texted me or called me and asked me to make her a dangle um, rear view mirror uh, dragonfly piece. And I was like, absolutely. So I think the next order I do, I'm going to order her stuff. And then I might see about putting that online. We'll see. I haven't for sure decided on that, but I am going to make her one. Um, bookmark wise, I sold, this was not my like best. So last show, I sold 15 bookmarks. I think this one, I only sold like five or six. I, uh, I like raised the price so I'm not sure if it was the price doing it or what but like sweatshirts were my main seller but they were also my most expensive item so like I'm not mad about it. Ooh, I sold two, three, so three cat bookmarks and then the two, uh, what you, what you call it, what you call it, uh, night, night court bookmarks. <laughs> And then I sold some cups, which is wonderful, because again, I'm trying to get rid of them. Um, a crime cup and a strawberry cup. And I think I sold another crime cup with cash. And I sold a Stanley pouch and then five Stanley charms, I want to say. All right, so grand total. I'm so pleased with this market. It's so weird how it was a lot different. We made $152 in cash and $533 with credit card. So a grand total of $685, which is awesome. $100 was the table fee. So take that out. So $585. Then you have to factor in Randy and I, like we got 
bagels like for lunch and then we had um, some drinks while we were there so probably 500 ish um, when you take out food gas and table fee which is still really good for a 12 to 6 p.m market and it was i don't know it was a lot busier than last time obviously and sales wise busier the weird thing about this one was that there were a lot more vendors there so I think it's because we're getting closer to uh, market season per se which is like spring and summer and fall I think people were starting to like come back or new ones I don't know maybe two um so we got there I think like an hour 10 before it started and it had already like filled up in the main area I didn't even know there was a secondary area but we, there was one person in line ahead of me because we had to wait in line because this is one of the markets that they don't, at least that I've been to the last two times, they don't have a spot for you already set. Um, you just go there, check in, and they give you a spot. So the one in front of me and myself were the first two going into the secondary room where they started filling people in. Um, and it was like, it was attached to the big room, but um, by two double doors. I want to say that people knew we were there like if you walked in that corner you the I think the flow like you would understand there were more vendors in there if you were just going there to drink and just like browsing but like you weren't there for the market maybe you might not have known that we were there I didn't think that obviously I made probably like twice as much money this market than I did last market more than twice like two and a half um so I, we still did well and I got a big table that was already set there. The guy was like, do you want to use a table or do you want to use your own? And it was an eight foot table versus my six foot. And so I was like, yeah, I mean, I'll take the table. Um, so I got to spread out my stuff a little more, which I think was helpful also. Um, Randy thinks it did hurt me a little bit being in that room just because, which is true. Like when I would go out from the room and go and try to go to the bathroom, which was in the main room. Um, I had a really hard time getting around people. It was so busy, but it didn't feel like that in our little area. But at the same time, we still had a lot of traffic, so it wasn't, I'm, I'm still happy with it. Um, definitely worth the time going there. And I had, again, so many people take my business card. Um, I had this full and half of them were taken, so. I'm happy. I enjoyed it. I'm really excited for St. Patrick's Day. I need to get a move on making more of my green hoodies because I do think that's going to be hopefully something that sells out um, at that show. But if not, the April shows like sweaters. It's still cold here. It's still going to be um, useful. So I hope you enjoyed the breakdown. I hope you enjoyed my son just woke up. So my husband's getting him the few here crying in the background. I hope you just enjoyed everything. Uh, and I will see you in so many more upcoming markets. Get ready because the season has begun. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I love having you guys here. Please comment so we can get to know each other. Like I. It makes my day when I see a comment, so please comment, and I will say hi, and let's become real friends, and I love you, I'll see you in the next week. Bye!